All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my garden, even in weeds. Um, I did uh, did show a tour of my garden a couple months ago, or maybe a month ago. I don't remember. But uh, right here are my half runner beans. Now, where my half runner beans are, it's kind of down here by the edge of the woods. So, it's right next to the woods. So these are actually the very first thing the deer are coming to. And I just made a video of uh, how to make pepper spray uh, to apply on top of the plants. Which, that's why I was kind of currently doing when I thought I'd go ahead and do a tour of the garden real quick. Um, so these are the ones the deer have eaten the most. Now, that has not been recent. You can kind of see it's, I hope you can see it's kind of brown on the top. Um, ooh. But, um, this is the first thing the deer are uh, able to get to coming out of the woods. Because my deer stand up last year but uh woods all around down here in this part of the garden okay so the deer are going to get these first the deer have left them alone enough that i have actually been picking some beans down here so my pepper spray is working um if you want to know how to make the pepper spray, please watch a video before. But when a deer were eating everything, some of these I've been I haven't been keeping up with the weeds like I should have. And most gardeners will say the same. They don't keep up with weeds. Okay. But uh you can see here there's I have actually picked beans uh in the past couple weeks which I got a bunch here and there that are that ready to again so this is just some proof that uh, the pepper spray is working uh, some of the bean plants due to the deer eating them and the weeds aren't doing too good hopefully they recover enough that I can uh, get plenty canned for us for this winter this row is not many bean plants. They are producing. I need to work on that row. And that row. And this row. But, uh, this tour of the garden is kind of showing you that the pepper spray is working. Uh, let's go up here. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say uh, where the deer have been eaten, uh, my tomato plants, they were kind of short, really short, and uh, here's my hot peppers, some of them, which it looks like, here's the jalapeno. Which uh, hopefully I'll be able to dry some of my hot peppers they make it through the weeds. Uh, and make uh, my pepper spray out of my own homegrown peppers. But, uh, actually, I didn't even notice this earlier. Here's some fresh bite marks from, uh, apparently it looks like from deer. So deer have gotten in here and apparently they didn't like the pepper spray because this is the only fresh area I have seen in a good month that the deer have actually torn up. But you notice they have eaten the tops, but they didn't even make it down to the tomatoes. It's very interesting. But, uh... 
there is so many tomatoes right through here. I mean, constantly looking. So my uh, tomato plants, they are producing. It's a little late, but uh, I should be able to get quite a bit of, uh, get through the weeds here. Should be able to get quite a bit canned for the winter out of the tomatoes. I mean, well, let me try and show you some and here's some others. I don't even know what these are. I don't remember planting those because they are supposed to be my aromas. But there is tomatoes everywhere I look. And just from that little bit of damage that I have seen in the past uh, month, I mean, this pepper spray has really been working. But yeah, my tomatoes, I got all kinds of green tomatoes down through here. I'd love to show you them all. And here are, these are going to be, uh, going to be, they are brandy wines. Uh, really haven't got too many tomatoes out of the garden this year. I've already kind of came through here and sprayed quickly, but I still got uh, quite a bit of spray in my sprayer. And if you have watched my previous video on how to make the pepper spray, I got a I gotta say, if you have deer problems at all, this stuff really helps. All right. <clears throat> so here are my Blue Lake Runners green beans. And they have really taken off the past couple weeks. I was looking yesterday. And even got some little green beans coming on, plenty of blooms. So those are doing great compared to what they was a month ago when a deer kept on eating. Um, my first tour of the garden, up here in those weeds, there's onions. I have already harvested those. It's one thing the deer have not bothered. And some uh, bell peppers and I actually have gotten the chance to even harvest some of them and those ones aren't that great of size but hey I've got bell peppers like crazy right now that's a good one so uh, here's a quick tour of my garden even though up there was my onions, somewhere in those weeds are my daughter's carrots. Uh, so kind of show you a little tour of the garden or my weed patch. The pepper spray has really helped me out. Uh, that or the deer can't find all the stuff because of the weeds, but uh, I'm going to say it's a pepper spray because it's, I think it really has shown that it works, uh, this tour of the garden. So, uh, just a little bit of nibbling on the plants, I got to say, has been a major improvement of uh, problems I have had uh, all along this year. Uh, I have made several videos on working on my fence, but I wish I would have tried this earlier this year. And I'm even starting to get some banana peppers here. So, that was a quick tour of my garden. Um, kind of show you the pepper spray is really working kind of see a little bit of damage but the pepper spray I gotta say has really been working 
Uh, can't say it enough. But uh, if you're having deer problems, this helps with uh, raccoons, uh, most pests. Uh, I know I kind of said something on my... Oops, sorry about that. I had said something already previously on... Uh, on my video on how to make the pepper spray uh, about it will help repel some pests uh, but look it up online also you can add uh, if you're looking to repel like uh, insects you can add garlic powder and dehydrated onions kind of help with certain ones pepper spray is supposed to help with most of them but I gotta say it has really uh, Worked on a deer of to the point. Next year, I'm really going to try to grow some corn. Because that's all the corn I got to grow this year. Because the deer ate it. So, as always, God bless you all. Kind of check out my other videos. Uh... As you're doing that, you'll see there's all kinds of uh, videos I have made on working on the fence. I'm trying to stop the deer. But for a cheap way of really repelling them, pepper spray really works. So God bless you all, and I'll make a video again as soon as I can. Bye.